background music got so sinister. But uh, I didn't click on that. Sinister Veril has been looking for you. Please go to the throne room. Are there any messages? Just give me a moment. <laughs> Why does she sound like she's straining and struggling so much? All right, let's. I have no idea. Just give me a moment. I don't know what letters look like. Uh, pulls up a pineapple. Is is this is this a letter? No. <laughs> oh no! I screwed up again. All right. <laughs> There's gonna be very early on in Dragon Age Inquisition. There's going to be a character that is basically this. Well, I say a character as in like they're a person that you meet in the game. They're not like a main, like a fully fleshed out character or anything. They're just a person you meet. Mm -hmm. But you'll feel the same way. We'll be like, ma'am, you're okay. Breathe. Um, let's see. We have salvage operation. It is a notice from Mistress Woolsey. Most of you heard that a supply ship bound for the vigil was wreck was wrecked in, uh, bit, 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 was wrecked at Alnsum's Reef. Our soldiers were able to rescue most of the survivors, but it seems likely that the supplies have been ruined. Alas, we cannot spare the men for a salvage operation. I suppose scavengers will take what's left. I know it said remains. I said left. Whatever. Who cares? All right, let's talk to this lady before we go inside and continue the main, main quest. Commander, the men cleared the rubble. You'll have to see what they found for yourself. Yata. Show me. Here we are. Look at her. I knew it led to the deep roads. I could smell it. It looks safe enough to climb down. Find a way to stop the Darkspawn from coming back this way. Good luck. I am Ghost. Ah, should have gotten Nathaniel. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I can go back and swap to him. Nah, just, just Hi, do Hi, Furby! Don't, 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 don't go get Nathaniel. Furby. Okay. It's okay. Guess what, Furb? We solved the problem. There will be no crashing. Because the problem was Photoshop. I have switched to Clip Studio. Uh, there have been no uh, problems. I could light your breath on fire. That's not the only thing you could light on fire, saucy lady. Ah! Uh, do you ever stop drinking? Oh, don't you worry about that. It enhances the Ogryn experience. I'm like a cherry soaked in brandy, plump, juicy, and full of intoxicating flavor. Ugh. <laughs> You and me both. You know, given the effects that alcohol have on the sex drive, it's sort of amazing he can get it up at all. Which means a sober Ogren is somehow even hornier than drunk Ogren. Yeah, if anything, he's doing us a favor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if anything, this is this is the better version. Uh, he's currently staring into Andrews' pelvis. Uh, Ferb says, yeah, Clip Studio is great. It is. I've got to get used to a few a bits of it being different uh, right. than before, but on the whole, Golden Idol, of course. At the end of the day, I would probably say that uh, Ogren is probably not worse sober because he's probably incredibly depressed. That's true. Sober Ogren is also depressed Ogren. I, I mean... Either I mean, way, his, send this man to therapy, but... His house has been obliterated. His, his wife, wife is turned dead. into an insane, like, sicko fan and who tortured his <sighs> house for two years in the deep roads, and then was he was forced to kill her because she wanted to basically, like, bring back a horrid practice of yeah. taking the souls of, of, like, prisoner dwarves and then forever imbuing them into stone. Yeah. Burp says I'm a little quiet, by the way. Oh, hold on a minute. I will fix that. I know what to do. It's because I turned it down the night you were having the big coffee fix. That's why he's quiet. I have done fixed it. There you go. Back to 100%. I also accidentally hid the chat. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Gotta put the chat back. 
Gotta put the chat back. And now we can return. There we go. Fix it. We have a golden idol of Korth. A polished figure of Korth the Mountain Father. It still glimmers after all these years. The inventory is full. No. I should have gone into the castle and sold everything first. What was I thinking? I wasn't. That was the problem. Curses. Oh, come on. You don't have to look at it now, obviously, but I, uh, I am, I've put the edit that I made. Oh, thank you. Uh, made with the puppet warp tool, which is very nice. Funky. The key of corn! Very good. That's for the wall. Offering. Wish. Add the golden idol to the offering, question mark? Uh, you know what? Leave it alone. Quick save and then do that. This should be easy enough. Bonk. Oh, I've received something. Oh, oh, I got an axe. Neat. Hey, Ogren, you want an axe? Let's see if this axe is better for Ogren. It's called Frenzy. There he is. Health regeneration and combat plus five damage. Oh, that's pretty decent. Here you go. Oh, 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 look at that baby. That's a fancy axe. Fancy axe on a fancy boy. A fancy drunken boy. Oh, an old book I've missed. Right. On the Avar who lived here. Worn inscriptions deep in the bowels of Vigil's Keep tell of the Avar clan that settled here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, so this is an update to that. And Rudon pursued her. She fled into the earth and played, prayed to Korth to preserve her. He sent deliverance. They called themselves the dwarves, and they protected Kayla. Oh, so they met the uh, the Avar met the dwarves in this location. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, it makes sense, right? Because the dwarves, prior to the first to to the first uh, blight, the dwarves were everywhere. Yeah. And, and the Avar lived in a mountain range. Yeah, and it would seem that this was their first ever encounter with each other. That's an unpleasant series of noises. He ran to try and reach us and fucking died. Oh, I really should have gone and... me. Really should have gone and sold right. all this stuff. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm backing tracking. Backing tracking? We're right at the entrance, so I'm backtracking and I'm gonna sell all the junk. I don't like leaving so much behind. I don't like leaving it behind, okay? It's the hoarder in me. I'll be back before you can blink. Metaphorically speaking. Oh... We have to walk back the whole way. Well, that will take a little longer than I initially thought, but this does mean that we can go into that room and put the key in the thing, so that's good. We can put Korth's key in his little doodad. The exit should be right over here. Oh. Must be stuffy in that robe. Out. You mean out to play with the darkspawn? Such a great idea. All right. I see your point. I don't think that's really what she meant. I don't think she meant let him out while combat is happening. Let's get started. I think she meant let him out just in general. Right, As you go. wish. So you cleaned out the the under? No. I have no. to sell things. My inventory is full. Ah, I see. 
So I'm going back in here. I'm not going to talk to the guy. Unless it auto makes me do that. Where is he? Huck. I know he's here. Cough him up, warden. Ass. Do you have? <laughs> do you have an appointment? You're not gonna pull the moss over my eyes. Ogren, get your hairy ass down here. Oh shit. Hang on to your beard, woman. Is this a conjugal visit? <laughs> Looking for Ogren to grease the old wheel? Don't lay a finger on me. You've done a lot of stupid things on a way. Oh, it's the lady the from the wardens. bar. <laughs> Didn't you say it would be hot? We were role playing. <laughs> I'm not listening. La 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 la. So I didn't sign up on a whim, all right? You kicked me out. You were just looking for an excuse. You kept trying to make me into something I'm not. I can't play house like you want me to. I'm only good at one thing, Fells, and it's killing. He's right. He is good at killing. Um, you know, maybe, maybe you two should should breathe. I, I, no, Commander. We should have had this out before. Bad idea. You had a good thing in the army. They respected you. Ah, Felsey, I finally got the old conqueror on straight, and I don't belong anywhere but here. Fine, Ogren, if that's what you want. The baby and I will just have to get by without you. Baby? Baby. He reproduced? Oh, no! That was... Oh. Aren't you going after her? I just end up being hit. She's a tiny thing, but packs a surprising wallop. And in this mood, she'd go straight for my danglers. Come on, there's Darkspawn waiting to be killed. He disapproved of the encounter. He has a kid! Oh my goodness. His passion for drinking has not waned. Let's see. Oh dear. You need anything, Commander? Did I do that not good? No. <laughs> okay. Good. I just like in a situation in which two people are heated, I don't think that Telling I them think everybody right. just needs to calm down is the right approach. <laughs> no, it wasn't like, I think everyone needs to calm down. It wasn't like a, whoa, 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 breathe, 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 breathe. What? <laughs> that is not what was said. I know that's not what ended up being said, but. That is not what was typed. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what your reply was. <laughs> it was like, whoa, everyone just needs to breathe. No, it was, I think everyone just needs to calm down. Fine! <laughs> I goofed. Shut up. <laughs> you can't, like, in this game, you cannot editorialize what the response is. Mm. The sentence is what you say. Mm. In the next two games, because they adopt the, bio the Bioware dialogue wheel. Um, it's more clear. No, it's not. The, oh. the, the the written word is not exactly what you say, but it's the gist, and then you have a tonal, like, icon that lets you know what the tone of the statement is going to be. Oh, poop. But in, in this game, you, there's no excuse. <laughs> it is verbatim what you're saying. Hmm. Sell the garbage. Sell the garbage. Shield. Yeah, I would keep the named the named shield. Oh, for but... sure. And keep in mind you will have one more mage, so Yeah, so I've kept a lot of magey things. Uh willpower, healing received, recession anders. I'm gonna put that in the box. I think there's two more people I'm getting if I'm remembering like the numbers correctly. You are correct. Yeah, there's equal people. These are all Do I need diamonds for anything? I can sell all of these now, right? 
Yes. Okay, these two are flawless, so I guess they're not for anybody. Um. They don't what appear is to be. Say? It just says a diamond of peerless quality. Yeah, then I would assume you can just sell it. Okie dokie. Hopefully nobody needs those at any point. If they do, I'll just buy them back from this guy. Mm, just something to sell, something to sell. Something to sell, something to sell, something to sell. Blank vellum, sell them. Rubies, gone. Control rod, I was able to use that in the thing. Sir Pounce a lot, don't sell. We can't sell Sir Pounce a lot. No, you need those. Buy them back. Oh, the the stones? The flawless, the flawless The flawless gems. things. I need them back, okay. Well. <laughs> I think I got them all right. Uh, flawless you ones. need... Oh, whoops. Where's you the need... flawless ruby? I don't think you had one. I had three. Oh. Well, excuse me. Um. Okay, and we're good. Yeah. Uh, so the flawless, the flawless gems. Mm -hmm. Just explain what they're for. The flawless gems uh, will be used by Wade um, to craft. Cool shit. It. Yeah, badass shit. I forget which flawless gems are required, but I would just keep them all until you get what you need. Okay. Um, long sword, one hand, long sword, one hand, long sword, one hand. So what's the difference? Dapa, 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 dapa. Ah. Is this better than my hat? Nope. Not even close. I'll keep that for posterity. Yoink. 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 Keeping for posterity. And, uh... Yes. Oh, ma'am. May I be of service? Can I enchant? Of course. Hooray! All right. Uh, ancient Dwarven Axe. Masterpiece Flame Rune. Oh, what do I have? Master Lightning Rune. Master Frost. Journeyman Paralyze. What do we have? Journeyman Flame. A boom. Yes. All right. No, nothing for that. All right. Hair splitter. Get some fire. We're getting to this. And... More spell resistance. Spell resistance. Extra damage versus undead. Extra damage to dark spawn. Hmm. We may as well increase her resistances. I don't think we're going to encounter many undead, but there we go. Except these for now. All right, then. I'll talk to all of you people uh, later. Poor Ogren's just standing in the middle of the floor where I left him. Yeah, uh, you are going to pay me, right? For all that arse whipping I do for you. <laughs> You'll get a stipend if the nobles pay their due. A stipend? Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, what's a stipend? It's the money we pay you. Money? Ha! Now there's a <laughs> it's word your I allowance. Understand. 
What an arrangement. You feed me and I get to take my frustrations out on the dark spawn. <laughs> anyway, can I have a pony? I bet you can't tell me what you just said. You're serious, aren't you? Nah, it's okay. I know you think I'm... I'm just... Bronca used to collect these little... Little horse oh. statues. Back when... Back... Whoa. Everything's spinning. And you're... Very shiny. <laughs> oh, gonna go sit down. Now. Well, oh, see, I made up for the back conversation. Fur says, if it's a tiny po pony that talks and poops a lot, then yes, I can whip you one up really quick, Ogren. Oh, you're talking about a fluffy. The opposite of a My Little Pony. All right. Uh, yes. 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 Um... You'll want to, I mean, you'll also want to, to bring Sigrun around because you want to max out her, Yeah. you want everyone's loyalty to be maxed out. So. Yeah, well, I'm bringing him for the ability to, to lockpick. When her lockpick is at max, she will get to be in the party more often. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's in and out of concealment, cannot concentrate on the movies. Da, 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 that one. And Ogren leveled up. I should have checked to see if everybody had leveled up. Oh no, wait, because Sigrun hadn't leveled up before I came in, so that's fine. What does willpower affect? Oh, more stamina. I do want him to have some more stamina. Uh, <laughs> you yell at them. Uh, let's see. Force your energy to your side of the veil, causing spirit damage. The amount of damage depends on their willpower. Let's see. Well, I'll do this first because getting that thing to work is is super good. All right. Back into the thing. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go and put a key into a key thing. I'm not sure I can. Technically, I'm a. Oh, can you go back to us? Why technically? You don't know for certain. It's not like they send you a letter. Congratulations, you've been ejected from the warrior cast. Do you care? Sometimes. Then I drink more and it goes away. Oh. I really just want to send all of my people to therapy. I know that we got them added to our to, to the Grey Wardens because they are people in dire need of therapy, and that's like our brand. But I still want to send them all to therapy. Alright, now where is the lock for the key that I have? What is key? Key of Korth. Let us go to Korth. What are you? Korth. Korth is over here. Shove the thing into the doodad. This should be easy enough. Da dum. All right. Hi, Anders. How you doing from up here? How you down there? Hmm? No? All right. Eventually, when I play Baldur's Gate 3 when I have a computer that can do that. Uh, it's going to be interesting watching other characters get stuck, like, a mile and a half back, and be like, where the hell did they go? Well, they couldn't make the jump about a mile away, so... I'm like, oh... Great. Swiftly, down the ladder. There we go. Yeah, damn, that's... It, Ferb agrees and says, damn, that's so sad. This poor alcoholic dwarf. I know. It is really sad. Allow me to say, Sir Dwarf, that you are oh. a frightening force on the battlefield. Is this a joke? I only let loose that time because I was surprised. No, it... it was a compliment. Uh, I don't get many of those. I don't see why. Your skills are... 
Okay. Yes. I think I do see why. A tentative friendship is beginning to form. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Uh, compliment. I don't get many of those. Oh. Well, I don't see what. Farts aggressively. Oh. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> what is this? Aha! The key of Hakon! We have another key to put back into the doodad when we're done here. And... Surprise! <laughs> I whipped around too quickly. Were you two making out in here? You know that's illegal. Well, that's just a pit into fuck off nowhere. Icky, icky. All right, now then. Aha, gem mine, huh? Gems are good. Ooh, ooh. rocks. <laughs> gem cluster, gem cluster, gem cluster, rock. An elven runestone. Ah, the little bitches. Oh no, it's just a it's just an ambush. That's fine. Right. Like that. Quartzes. Ah, another flawless diamond and a regular diamond. And some quartzes. Alrighty, back to the dark spawn. They are waiting very patiently. Peekaboo! Yell! You Spin! You. Two more of them. Are you guys touching butts in here too? They are. I knew it. <laughs> I don't know why I've made that the decision that that's what they're doing. A large dark spawn shield. Can I? Can I door? Aha! And another door. Interesting. Where does this go? What does this button do? A plaque. It does a plaque. Ancient vows. There's an inscription in the stone. And so you are defeated by Avar and Dwarf, bound by the blood of your people. May they hold you here forever. What did you do? Somebody did a bad in here. Okay, so that warrior statue is lit up. Ah, that would be why! Hello! As you Actually, Ogren, you don't have your shiny on, do you? He has one of his shinies on, but not the other one. Put on this, sh this shiny spell. There we go. Trickster boots. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. Less fatigue, huh? Nathaniel, are these better than the shoes that you possessed? Actually, yes, they are. That's pretty decent. So what's up with you? Nothing. Nothing is up with you. Alright then. Circle of the Forsaken is what that was called, whatever 
we were meant to do there. It's funny how sometimes things have, like, name plaques, but they don't do anything. Ah! The walls of the... Oh, the Walk of Bone! That's a lot of the spine down there. I have walked across the... Oh. Ah! We were taking a loop-de-loop. -loop. I see. We loop de -loop. Oh. Okay. Oh! The Dark Fugue. I'm back here, you. Is it just me, or do you actually think you have a chance? Come back, Stinky! Desperation is an ugly person. Oh, you turned off my shiny things. This should be easy enough. Ow. It's like a little Roomba. Oh! Either you or me, and it isn't gonna be me. I'm not taking the game. I'm running out of bounds. Ow. Good job, Hawker. You keep doing that. Ow. Ow. Quickly, me, yo! Let's get started. Okay. Kill that thing. Just fucking zippity doo dying around the goddamn room. We're doing good. We're doing good. Come back! Excellent. Oh, did we win? Okay. Right. We got hit? Question mark? That's a lot of gems. Well, that happened. We'll check that out in a minute. It ran away and got zooped into the machine. Three mage staves. Corrupted icon. This lead icon etched with silver is shaped and represented. Oh, is shaped to represent a twisted perversion of the Avar warrior ideal. Reduces hostility, healing effects, chance to avoid missile attacks. There's a lot of really fancy shit in this room. I'm glad I went and sold stuff. He. Call of the Inferno! Oh my god! Whatever mage we get next, if they use fucking um, fire magic, that'll be perfect for them. All right, well. So this is the forbidden chamber. And behind us is a door. So let's poke the thing. On it. Oh! Oh, it escaped. Find and destroy the wraith. I've released the wraith. I thought it was trapped! It disappeared quickly and will certainly cause trouble until it is stopped. Son of a bitch! Well. <laughs> well, I did that! So now I have to kill it. I mean, it's best that you free it and then kill it rather than some poor servant, like, accidentally freeing it and, oh, like, killing yeah. everybody. For sure. On your way. All right, what's this room called? The Dwarven Outpost. Here's someone. This should be easy enough. Tempest Rune Tracing Masterpiece Tempest Rune. Oh, yeah. Nathaniel? Box. Key of the Lady! Cool, we can open all of the doors now. Oh. Cursed creatures! Hi! Come here! 
All right, let's figure out who's gonna kill what. Uh, an ogre commander is bad. This is also bad. I also want you to focus on that one. Ogren, take that out. And I will deal with this boy. Time for a little cleanup. Hi. Oh, he tried to ram me and he failed. Oh. Did we kill the, the casty? No, we killed one casty. Ogren is dealing with these and doing actually quite well now that he has, has been suitably equipped. Oh, who's killing him? Oh no, he's got the drain on him, doesn't he? First mortality. Yeah, okay. We are going to lose Anders, probably. That's okay. Ogren, go after that. Only one just He's trying so hard to heal himself. Wahoo. Oh my goodness, he survived! Hey, bro! No? Yes? Okay. Well, we found him. By the way, possessing a dark spawn somehow kind of weird to me in that i've not seen that happen before so <clears throat> i mean it's a body that's it's true. something they it's can puppet corpse. around it is a corpse um, uh it does bring a, an interesting thing though which is how how does the fade and blight interact yeah especially if the blight's from the fade like like we previously have discussed is like so is it is it not well yeah well i mean it it came from the fade and that the maker allegedly uh brought brought the fade yeah uh, curfew. it's like caused by them by like humanity sins tainting the golden city why are you dead yet there we go, I've put on all the forms and he's shooting much faster now. Show me what you've got. Here we go! Come now, defend yourself! I'll go and put your shiny back on, because I can't. Oh, cut scene. Commander, the ancestors favor us indeed. Ah. This is a dwarven barrier door. Wahoo! Before old Calharol fell, she nearly had it complete. Only the mechanism needs work. If they'd only had a bit more time to finish, Orzammar wouldn't be all alone. Mm hmm. Can you finish what Calharol began? Won't take me long to fix up the mechanism. Poor sods were nearly done. Yay! We got the big door! This is proper dwarven engineering. You stand back now. Should buy us a few years. A decade if we're lucky. Yay. That'll give us time to devise a more permanent solution. Give me a little bit. Of course. I have loot. I um, have loot, I must loot. Doodly 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 doot. I also managed to kill the horrible thing, which is good. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. That's actually probably pretty good for Nathaniel. So what you got right now? Oh, perfect.
Come on, there we go. Key to the crypt, huh? Unlocks the vigil's crypt. Excellent, I have all keys now. This is wonderful, most wonderful. Do I have to talk to them to go back to the surface? It entered the corpse of an ogre. Okay, well, where did it go? It entered the corpse of an ogre and then it died. Mechanism. Huh. I'm interested in what that do. Probably opens the doors. Not sure why we'd want to, though. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. There's another door back there I didn't look into. Scoot, 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 scoot. Scoot the feet, scoot the feet, scoot the feet. Into the side door. Oh, the side door goes here. I see. Well, I don't know what that device do, but I guess we'll end up going back and finding out. After I open up the, uh, the cool box, the funky Avar vault, or Avar vault, rather. Is it Avar or Avar? Mikey, is it Avar or Avar? Uh, it's, I've heard it both ways, but ah. the game, most people in the game pronounce it Avar. Avar. Thank y'all. We're gonna go open up their big cool thing now. As you wish. Door. Yeah! Ah! Uh, how did I know? How did I know? You stinky! Stinky, stinky man! Guy! Yeah. Why are they all squawking? I was gonna say somebody leveled up with Anders. Just like piling on the guy and beating him. Ooh, we gotta back up Nathaniel. Nathaniel's too close. He's too close to the sauce. What is killing? No more talking. Oh, Anders, are you possessed? No, he he life warded him. Go get him. Go get him and. Do a threaten upon him. We'll never know what hit him. Have you don't stand a chance. There. Did we do? I've destroyed the wraith. With any luck, it is gone for good. Woohoo! Boots of the Sentinel. Ooh, fancy. Health forties, health forties, box. Ooh, ooh, fancy. That's some pretty, pretty sexy armor. Oh my god, there's so much in here. The daisy cutter? Telekinetic? What does that mean? This axe is what, psychic. What do you mean? It, telekinetic is like self-explanatory yes but what does that mean for this axe 
Like what you throw it and it comes back? Is that what it means? Does it move shit? It it means that you don't have to directly hit the target. Thank you. <laughs> How would I have gotten that that's what that meant? Wolf treads. Rogue only. Oh my god. That because was... it's self-explanatory. <laughs> no, it's not. Teleke Look, te the word telekinetic means to be able to move shit with your mind. No. That is not what telekinetic means. <laughs> yes, yeah, see, Ferb agrees. It's not readily apparent. It, 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 it is self-explanatory. <sighs> you can be disappointed in me all you want. I still think that it's not clear. What is kinetic energy? Physical energy. What is what is tele in this in this definition mean? A long is like over a distance. Yes. So you are affect you the weapon is affecting a person over a distance. Okay. But what is the common thing thought of when you say the word telekinetic? Well, it depends on what you're referring to. If you're referring to a person, like, yeah, telekinetic means, like, psychic powers or whatever. Well, I've never heard a person call an item telekinetic. Ever. In my whole life. I have not heard that. Really? Yes. Hmm. Never, ever have I heard that. So, pardon? So, sorry, I did not understand what the hell that meant. To me, a thing can't be... To me, as far as I was aware, things could not be telekinetic. I Unless think, they were alive. I think that there should be a different term. Possibly. For it, in my in my opinion. That could work. Death cipher. Mm. Take that. All right, then. We have looted many good things and completed that quest. Because there's nothing in the term telekinesis that actually implies brain stuff right like there nothing in the term implies that your brain actually has to do anything it's just an assumption made because of a well like a cultural association we've made well hold up i'm out of out of curiosity i do want to see what the very first definition of that word is in the dictionary i mean the very first definition in the dictionary is going to be the most commonly used definition but that doesn't mean anything because we use words that have multiple definitions all the time. Telekinetic. Alright, let's do a dictionary.com test. I'm just curious as to what all of these are. I, I Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want the definition. Thank you, Cambridge! Oh my goodness. Ew, you're using Cambridge? Ugh. There's only one definition, and it just says having an ability to move objects or to make them change shape using only the power of the mind. See also telekinesis. Well, the Merriam-Webster defines it as the production the production of motion and objects without contact or other physical means. All right then. So it depends on which one you learn. Well, Merriam-Webster's Merriam-Webster's is the most accurate definition. All right then. Because what? It, because like literally, break down the word, break down the root of the word. I understand. Tele, I'm just tell. Tele means like far away or like like at a distance, you see right? Rather attached to that oh. cat, Anders. It's more that he's rather attached to me, isn't that right, the bounce a lot? Why does the meow come out of Auburn? Name a little ridiculous. What do you think I should call him, Frederick? There are worse names, I suppose. Are we bonding over mutual hatred of the name Frederick? And if so, why? <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Ferb says, cultural assumptions don't care about your definitions, Mikey. <laughs> Actually, they said facts. Oh, I'm sorry. Facts. You're editorializing again. First, you editorialize. Oh, I'm your, sorry. Your, your... I glanced. 
you editorial well one that's level. one hell of a glance like change like changing the word facts to definitions <laughs> what does this do are you ready <laughs> yes let's go back to the, apparently clicking on the dial means we go back to the keep of course I like to think that that means that your character, like, bangs on the thing until they get the bon, attention bon, of bon. the lady. <laughs> yeah. Of your captain, captain of the guard or whatever. You? Not when I'm naked, I don't. I mean when you run from the circle. Robes would make you easy to spot. So does the big I'm a mage sign around my neck. <laughs> I like to make it easy for the Templars. Ah, so that's how it's going to be. Yep. Uh, but but Nathaniel legitimately has a good point. He though. does though. <laughs> well, I mean... Like 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 I get the, that they can track you with your phylactery, but also it would be way easier to hide for them to track you if people. an ordinary person could stitch on you, right? Uh -huh. Like this is what I mean when I say that Anders is kind of like a twat. <laughs> Sorry, I have to turn you down just a tad. Now you're t way too loud for me. I'm not going to turn you on too much, but just a little bit. There we go. Okay, like, like he's, for, let me know if that is too quiet. Like, like he's just kind of a dwing, like a, like a, like a dingus or a dweeb. I was going to say a dwingus. A dwingus. Which, which, you know what? I'm going with it. Dwingus! <laughs> he sounds okay, says Ferb. Excellent, good. Anders is a dwingus. He is a dwingus. And it it's, you know, I know that some of the staves that they have, that they just have, are disguised to look like pole arms and stuff, or walking sticks. But this staff very much screams, I am a mage. And that's not his fault I gave it to him, but the fact still stands. Well, he doesn't have to cover up the oh, fact that he's a mage anymore. Is it old yeah. Dworkin? You're in luck, I found Lyrium Sand. Splendid. Truly splendid. I like Enough how he Lyrium vibrates. Sand to keep us busy for a long time. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. Haha! <laughs> -ha! He's definitely okay. He's totally fine. He hasn't inhaled any concerning chemicals at all. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's see. You heard me, for Doing this. Thank you. And I, I trust that you will agree with me, Ferb, as time progresses. This time next year, I think we can all agree collectively that Anders is a doing this. <laughs> all right, let me do a quick save, a quick hard save. Uh, this one will be basement clear. Basement clear. We have fixed the bossament. We may now decide what we're going to do next. Let's see. Oh yeah, we have to figure an auger in the family man. Speak to him about his family. Uh-huh. Sir Alvard's missing sword, long buried past, lucky charms. I should head back to that. The real treasure hunter found something in the chasm and took it to Amaranthine. Oh, okay. And this one I can give back to them. Because I think they are physically here. I'm just not sure where. Oh, no, wait, they're in Amaranthine. Uh -huh. All right. The groom's joining. We should go do that. Let's go make Sigrun a Grey Warden. Burb said, Hey, Commander, Ooh. we need to talk. Sure. All right. Ferb says, this time last year I was learning about the formation of the sun and the earth, and now I've moved through the earth's evolution of life up to the emergence of anatomically modern humans. A single year to cover all the history before humans. I could run through that entire history when I was a sophomore in high school. <laughs> well, that's because you had a lot of free time. <laughs> well, it was also because I was just very interested in 
like this is true. early early like universe's history. Okay, Algren, what's up? Dreams. You get them. <laughs> this is a Grey Warden thing, huh? Why He's never dreamed know? before! Right! Dwarves don't dream because they don't go to the Fade, but Ogren's dreaming yep. now! Yep. <laughs> oh, I apologize, I should have warned you. In my dream, I saw one of those bloated, vomit-smeared broodmothers, and it had Hespeth's face. You remember Hespeth, don't you? Bronca was there and whispered, It's time! And Hespis screamed, and a thousand darkspawn burst from her. That is odd. That's a very specific dream. What then? And the darkspawn surrounded me and started talking, asking me if I would like lemon in my tea. And could I please teach them to read and write? And, and one of them kept repeating, where's the baby? And that's when I woke up. Huh. I think it's That's... his personal issues that are starting to to be colored by his dreams of the dark spawn. <laughs> That's not a Grey Warden dream. Huh. Well, I do get other dreams about dark spawn, mostly shadows and murmuring, but nowhere scary. Thanks for listening, Commander. You're welcome, Agrin. That is concerning, though. Or probably, at the very least, very frightening for him, since, since dwarves don't dream, I guess. Yeah, it's an experience he's never had before, because, yeah, as you said, dwarves... They don't go to the fade. ...cannot dream. Yeah. All right, let's... Let's talk to, Senesh to the Seneschal. For... All right. That just sounds like an excuse. The Warden Commander and Liege Lord of all Amorites. <laughs> I've held it off as long as I could, but you hold the right of high justice on your land. Certain matters of court must be decided. Oh shit, what happened? Alright, I will ask him what's up as soon as I see what Ferb said. Oh, Ferb said, I was busy doing other things, Mikey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like being in college and you, Mikey, not being in college. Actually, a year ago you were indeed in college. What am I talking about? A year ago? Yeah, right? Last year you were finished in college, weren't you? No. Two years ago. Oh. Longer than I thought. Is there 2021 any... was, uh, was, was my last year. 2022 didn't exist as a year, so I guess I can... I, can... I mean, 2020 didn't either. <laughs> yeah, basically 2020 until now kind of didn't, didn't exist. It was somehow the shortest year... But the longest week I have ever had continuously. <laughs> Is there anything I should know before we proceed? By custom, the claimants make their case to you. I'll advise you after, then you rule. The All Seneschal right, of the Vigil can hold court as well, if the Isle commands it. Okay, well, let's begin. Be seated. The Warden Commander will first hear the matter of the Crown against the Sheepherder Alec. On behalf of the Crown... I submit that Alex stole two bushels of grain bound for the garrison in Amaranthine. When confronted by soldiers, he confessed. The punishment for theft from the crown is death by hanging. Jesus. What say you, Alec? My sheep were slaughtered by the darkspawn. My, fam my family was starving. I asked for mercy. Commander, mercy. The poor bugger. Had he stolen from anyone besides the crown, he'd escape with a flogging. I recommend Mercy here. Yeah, it's either that or join the army. Uh, yeah, I'll say I'm not without Mercy. Block him instead. Thank you. Thank you. The next matter is of a civil nature. Lady Liza Pacton is the sovereign of Tern's Down. She... I prefer to speak for myself. The old Earl Rendon Ha made certain promises to me. Some of these he committed to paper. I was given the right to the incomes of the Southern Bridge. And what part did you take in Howe's conspiracies, Eliza? To get such a fruitful prize. I am Sir Darren, and it is my land she seeks. Taken from me because I was one of the few nobles who stood against Turn Logan. Commander, Sir Darren is an ally, and Amaranthine has precious few who support you wholeheartedly. If there's any hope of persuading more nobles to your cause, you must be fair-minded.
Um, hmm. See, the document is genuine. But Arl Howe was a traitor who likely promised it to her for less than scrupulous things. On the other hand, I could promise to make it up to him, but that is his home. So it seems really unfair to be like, well, I guess you just don't live there anymore. She gets your house because of a deal a guy made without your consent. <clears throat> um, hmm. What are your options? My options are to give the land to Liza, let Sir Darren keep the land, persuade Darren that this is legal, but say that I'll make it up to him, or say war is expensive and I claim the disputed land for my own. The final option is to just let Veril take care of it. Let me think for a second. I need to, I need to think about how this is going to impact future, future decisions. Mm -hmm. You know me, I like your input. said in regards to what other things they were doing <laughs> when they were busy with they said they were busy with things like school and drawing degeneracy and I like the use of that word because it implies such a wide range of things that could be anything and I love it If it were me, I would just let Den uh, Darren keep his land because he had no say <coughs> in the original bullshit. And that's the kind of person um, I am. But. I mean, I would argue that under how any like legal documents or, or like business arrangements are, are subject to null severe and void. Yeah, are subject to severe scrutiny at the very least. So I mean, if you feel like if you feel like Darren's claims are just, then yeah, I would. Uh... Yeah, the other guy advised us. Yeah, he said. Um, the other guy said that Darren's one of the few people who supports me whole wholeheartedly. Yeah. And uh, Veril said that if I want to win more people to their cause, I must be fair-minded. Yeah. So I have a feeling that she's not going to like it. Maybe the, the in-between one is to try and persuade Darren. Given that she was dealing with how, she probably doesn't like you. Yeah, and even me being nice to her isn't, or ruling in her favor isn't going to make her like me. It's just going to make her think that she can tell me to do what she wants me to do. All right. Uh, I'm going to say Arl Howe was a traitor. Sir Darren keeps his holdings. Ban Morel will hear of this. Cool. The commander has spoken. The matter is resolved. Bring in Sir Temele the ox. Oh, I thought it was going to be an actual ox. Oh, his chin. Sir Temele stands accused of a murder most foul. You and your men came upon Sir Tamra in the dead of night and did cravenly ambush her. You dare too much, Captain Garavel. I am noble-born and will not submit to your accusations. You are accused of murder, sir. My soldiers found you fleeing while Sir Tamra's blood was still hot. There's a great deal of traffic on the roads, not all of it human. And it's so dangerous at night. We were merely in a hurry to reach a nice, safe place. You mock this court with your denials. You have nothing, Captain. Release me, Commander. It's this common lout's word against mine. You will recall Sir Tamra as the knight who warned us against the conspiracy. Sir Temele was a confederate of Al Hal. I would have him killed. <laughs> I would have him killed too, but I have, uh, I have questions. I have questions I can ask. All right, is there really no more evidence against him? Only some blood on their clothes. A sadly common sight on travelers these days. Mm -hmm. Besides that, nothing. The captain looked into the matter thoroughly. Mm, the conspiracy is real, and they've claimed their first victim. I fear you're correct. Okay. <laughs> what would happen if we executed him? There'd be some outrage. There's no love for the ox, but he's a noble. With such scant evidence. <sighs> but you are within your rights to execute him. Could he be innocent? If he's innocent, I'm the Empress of Orlais. <laughs> 
But it's possible, I suppose. All right, I know what I need to decide. What is your will? Oh. Oh. So I can... So the two options I must weigh now that I like is... A lady knight is dead. There will be justice. Behead him or imprison him during our very, very long investigation. I feel like that's the one that will win me over the most favor because there won't be any outrage because I didn't kill him. But mm. nobody likes him. I also feel, I'm also, as far as punishments go, I'm more apt to, to lean towards ones th uh, that give people a lot of time to think about what they did. Like, if you kill him, it's over. And he, his suffering is very brief. But if he sits and rots in a cell for the but rest of his life... But on the bright side, we don't have to look at his fucking chin anymore. <laughs> That's true. I don't have to look at his massive, massive chin. I mean, if you want to imprison him instead, that's fine. But you're living in a medieval world, so killing isn't necessarily bad either. Yeah, it's just that people will get upset if I kill him simply because he's well, a noble. some people will get upset. Yes. And given that there's not a whole lot of evidence. I mean, he's clearly guilty. But I think the best thing to do would just to be... Just lock him up. Until we're done with our investigation. Until we're absolutely sure he didn't do it. A thing that is impossible. I think that's the best route. Imprison him during our very, very long investigation. What is the meaning of this? You can't do this! Oh, but the commander very much can. This session of the Arling's court is over. And Maker, help me. I hope the next one is easier than this. Put him and his chin in the prison. To the jail with you. Uh, I will let you know yes. that there is a hearing that you would have heard in place of that one mm -hmm. if you didn't, if, if you had done like certain quests before this one. Oh, before this one? Okay. Um, instead, in the place of, of uh, Temerly the Ox, yeah. you would have had to deal with a soldier of Vigil's Keep mm -hmm. uh, named Danella, who deserted and was caught about three miles away. Ah. Uh. Um, and uh, she claims that she had requested release from her duties because of because her family is under darkspawn threat yeah uh your options are to have her executed oh no to have her imprisoned for one year okay uh have her bring her family to vigils keep and start over that seems like uh, the better of the options yeah and uh this this impacts another decision that you would ha that you will have in the future if you did that one, but it's unimportant at the end of the day. Okay, it's just interesting to know what we would have had instead of that one. Yep, just to let you know. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. It said I should talk to Ogren about the baby, and then we'll talk to Sigrin about the joining. Need something pummeled? Just say the word. No, I can't yet. I see. All right. Commander. Uh, another wishes to undertake the joining. Oh, I hope they fare better than Sir Myrin. I'll make the preparations. It's not the dwarf. From this moment forth, Sigrun, you are a Grey Warden. Then let it be. You chose her well, Commander. She will wake shortly. Oh, she's strong. Yeah! Sigrun's our strong lady! Oh! Oh, look at Just you wait. I just saw the little bit at the bottom. Okay. A wise man once told me to never argue with someone better armed than the entire warrior cast on, on parade. Sigrun is a member of the Legion of the Dead. Uh, warriors exiled from Orzammar and sent on suicide missions against the Darkspawn. The Warden Commander found Sigrun fleeing a Darkspawn, uh... I think that's supposed to say nest. A Darkspawn nest in, uh, Kalharul. I'm gonna sneeze. 
Oh, I've been so sneezy. I managed to avoid it until now. Oh. Oh, Nathaniel has a big thing to read, too, that I didn't see for some reason. Mm. She has broken... Oh, she's the lesser of her group. She has broken the Legion's oath by not fighting to her death. Sigrun joined Lenari to destroy the Bar Darkspawn nest. After Cal Harol was purged of Darkspawn, Sigrun agreed to join the Grey Wardens, and she survived the joining. Sigrun is fascinated by the surface world. She collects little curios from all over Thetis. She has a little collection of things. I love it. All right, let's see. Oh, these are just things to, to know about, like, the kinds of gifts that they like, too. Uh, the Hauser Prize, now those of us left. Nathaniel Howe is the son of the disgraced Arl Rendon Howe, and among the last scions of the once great family. He blames the Grey Wardens for his father's death and had intended to assassinate the Warren Commander. Upon seeing Vigil's keep, however, his childhood home, Nathaniel decided to simply reclaim some family treasures. The Wardens caught Nathaniel breaking in. Lenari, impressed to hear that it took four wardens to capture Nathaniel, invoked the right of conscription, making the young Howe a warden recruit. Nathaniel undertook the joining and survived. He is a sensible fellow who values practical gifts over useless trinkets. So, he likes gifts that have a use. Hi, Anders, you have a quest? May I point out that you are all right? Go ahead. You're all right. <laughs> really, when the Templars came for me, you could have decided I wasn't worth the trouble. But I apparently am worth the trouble. Considering I'm usually a lot of trouble, I should be grateful. You should? <laughs> I'm glad to have you around. I'm glad to be around. When you recruited me, I thought I was jumping from the frying pan into the fire. But being a warden is almost tolerable. It's a pleasant stroll through the park. With Darkspawn. Coupled with an early death, yes. Um, <laughs> I guess compared to being stuck in the tower and not really being allowed to, like, go anywhere, this probably does feel far more freeing. He's yeah. He's still a dingus, though. Dwingus. A dwingus. He's still a dwingus. Uh, <laughs> I mean, sure. He, I, I can agree with him that it sucks that he's locked up in the circle and can't journey around. Yes. That I that much I However, agree. I still question a lot of his basic decisions based on random things he has said before that make me concerned. He is still a dwingus. He is still a dwingus. <laughs> I agree with him on his point about getting to walk around uh wherever he would like to because I, he probably should be able to. However, he is still a dwingus who has said concerning things in the past. I'm so glad I could make it happen for you. You're a giver. I'm very grateful. I thought it was worth mentioning. Thank you, Commander, for everything. You're welcome. Ah, massive willpower. What I like about this uh, is that um, he... This is basically what leadership is. Like, you're, you're basically support in ensuring that all of your troops are... I'm everyone's the right... therapist. <laughs> kind of? He, I wouldn't say that you're solving their problems, but you are helping them work through or around them so that they can be the best fighter that you can they can be. Because mm -hmm. that's what you need. You, you're not your job isn't to make them a well-rounded individual. Your job is to make sure that they kill Darkspawn. Yeah. Uh, and they can only kill Darkspawn very very well if they are focused. Yep, and not. Filled with death. All right. He'll get that next filled time. With, filled with all sorts of issues. Decoy. A misdirection creating a personal <clears> decoy <throat> to keep enemies occupied while they escape. Shadow striking. Enlarge bonus to backstab while using shadow form as well as a permanent bonus to melee critical chance. Okay. Pandemonium, an airborne toxin that will confuse all enemies within range, causing them to either flee or attack a random target, whether friend or foe. That'll be fun. Uh, upset balance. The duelist executes a quick move that throws the opponent off balance, imposing penalties to movement speed and defense unless they pass a physical resistance check. So this is personal range. Yeah, the problem is, is that a lot of the, the rogue on their own things are melee. <laughs> I 
All right, uh, I'll take that one. Or actually, no. I'll start going through the shadow one, because while these are melee specific, kind of, this one's pretty nice when they're surrounded, I suppose. Yeah, this will be good if, the, if he gets, like, caught again. All right, anybody else? Thigrin. Oh, actually, I should give her some cunning. They benefit from having a lot of cunning. Curses! More cutting is needed. <clears throat> Sorry for the sniffing. As I said before, my nose is very itchy. Alright, we're good. Okay. So, what we got. That is not the button I wanted. I wanted this one. Okay, so, we have Long Buried Past and Not Word, Word Hills and Lucky Charms. And I believe these guys are an Amaranthi. And this guy. I like how you say guy. Amaranthi instead of Amaranthin. Yeah, like the band. <laughs> <laughs> I say the band. All right. Good band. It is an excellent band, and I highly recommend it. Verb says that they have finished uh, their prompt super quick today, and we'll post it in the Discord later. Yay! I believe the prompt was being afraid of an everyday object. So I think uh, I know that that the that one of the Wending Woods has another character, and I don't know where the other one would be. Uh. So, uh, I guess we should, out of the two companions left, which quest should I do to go get them? Uh, I would save the, um, the, uh, Black Marsh for last. Okay. So the Wending Wood. Okay. Uh, so I want, uh, really any of these just to go in there, I guess. Or, actually, I'll just go look for Innes. She's probably the person I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. She's oh. not, then. <laughs> uh, you could, I mean, you could have either yes. one, like, Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> you, got, so... you maxed out. You maxed out Anders, right? I think I did. Look look at his thing. Yes. 96 per, uh, plus 96. So he's almost at 100%. I can look in my bag and see if I have any gifts to give. But... Uh, certainly. Let's have a look at presents. So let's see, I know that these were not, uh, we have, um, the newest thing we have is the elven runestone. A flat stone bearing an elven rune. Is that something he might want, or nah? I know the whetstone's for Nathaniel, which I'll give I'm him. sorry, uh, what, what is it? That it's you an get? elven rune. I am almost positive that that is not the case, but let me look. I'm sure it is as well. I just don't know who it would yeah, be. Yeah, it it's, 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 it's not. not. It's for somebody else. It's for someone else. Okay. I know that the whetstone's for Nathaniel. You said that before. So let's give him that. Actually, maybe I should wait for you to check just to make sure I'm right. Uh, the whetstone is for Nathaniel, yes. Thought so. This you remember nice. correctly. This is nice. Yeah, especially since the book said he likes um, practical stuff. All right. Uh,. Carved greenstone. That belongs to someone I don't have yet, I think. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's run down all of the, the okay. gifts to see have... if there are any for Nathaniel. Okay, we have the Lyrium Ring, which I'm fairly certain is uh, no. That is for somebody else. Yep, the Verses of Dreams. 
somebody else. Carved greenstone. Uh, we we, we just said that, that yeah. One, somebody else. Delirium, <laughs> voice of the maker, is definitely not for him. Uh, Christoph's mementos. Uh, that is also for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Blank journal. Uh, that is for somebody else. Warrior's heart. Or the warrior's heart. Uh, that is actually for Sigrid. Aha! So if you want to, like, pop her into your party and give it She her. is indeed in my party right now. Uh, the discarded journal. Uh, that is for somebody else. Okay. Sigrun, here's a book. <laughs> I forgot that there's a gift called Dragon Piss. <laughs> I think that's a that's a booze, isn't it? Oh, good, he has a big buff. Yay! Everybody is better. Um, and how's everybody's approval doing so far? Let's have a look. Uh, Nathaniel is plus 50. He's doing okay. We need to get him up. Anders uh, is 96. Anders is good. Sigrun is plus 29. Yeah, we need to get Sigrun up way, way Do you more. want me to pop back in and see if they've got gifts for sale at the, the, the dude? I don't think they will, but you can look if you right. want. Let's have a look! Let's have a peeksy peek. It's much easier fighting oh. Darkspawn on the surface. On a clear day, you can see for leagues. I once heard about a contraption known as a... Hmm... A spyglass, I think it is called. My friend Barlin said they let you see distant enemies as though they were right beside you. Is that true? It sounds like magic. It's true, it's a Canari invention. Then they must be the cleverest people in Thedas. In the Deep Roads, the Darkspawn can appear from nowhere. A spyglass sounds the very opposite. Someday, while I'm still on the surface, I would like to look through one. <laughs> She's such a sweet fiend! I love how excited she is about being out in the world. You need anything, Commander? Let me see what you have while I sparkle with all of the glit. <laughs> glit. Uh, no. He does not have anything. Let me just make sure by scrolling through all of the stuff. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Nope. Alright, I figured he didn't, but it was worth a look. Beep, yes. beep, yes. beep. Yes. Except. Excuse me. Alright then. So, off to the, uh, off to the the Wending Wood, and I have a bunch of things to finish there, so let's go and do that. Cheer up. No one loves a grump. For a dead woman, you're remarkably perky. I could be less perky if you like. The darkness of the deep roads has seeped into my soul. The world is dead. My heart is black. Alas. Whoa. Whoa. Let's stick to perky. <laughs> he doesn't seem to get along well with dwarves. I do like I mean, this. I don't know. He's trying to get along with uh, with Ogren. With yeah. Ogren. <laughs> Ogren is not making it easy. Whereas Sigrun is like, absolutely, let's be friends. And he goes, oh, that is too much sugar for my blood. She's like, oh, but why? Why not? Curses. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there's that caravan thing I need to check on later. Birds! That's a bunch of dudes duty inspecting. No! Uh. <laughs> Bra! Large and powerful came through here. Large. Ooh. Large, powerful, and angry, yes. Large, powerful, and angry. Silk. A broken... I hate that I knew exactly what you were referring to. <laughs> or what that reference was to. 
caravan was smashed to bits. Simple bandits could not have done this. Let's get started. All right. So we got ourselves some banditos. Ah, oh, Ninus is somewhere well, on the map. Well, no, it just said that it couldn't, it couldn't have been. <laughs> no, I said, but uh, no, because I see them on the map. So that's why I said, oh, so we have some banditos. Oh, it's done. It's either you or me, and it isn't going to be me. It's either you or me, and it isn't going to be me. Here we go. Got stuck on the hill for a moment there. Right. Oh, you got him. As you wish. He even did the hurt bleh, and everything. <laughs> All right. Uh, collect. Oh, he had a malachite in his pocket. Is that a malachite in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Also, sorry. All I heard was you say it couldn't have been bandits, and then you go, "Ah, banditos." <laughs> and I was like, oh yes, no, I, I know you probably. <laughs> You probably didn't see it, but I, I moused over the uh, the the point, the little pointy blinky on the map. That you know, the red one saying there's an enemy, and it yeah. said like bandit, and I went ah, banditos. Uh, yeah, I was I was like, it couldn't always. have been bandits. Come ah, on. bandits. <laughs> oh, oh, it's very unhappy. Oh, you want to fight too? I just saged you. Let's read that before it disappears. Charred Sylvan. Occasionally, demons attempt to escape the fate by possessing something other than mortal flesh. By corrupting a tree, for instance, a demon avoids the madness that results from possessing a sentient creature. Demon-possessed trees are known as wild sylvans. On rare occasions, demons possess trees almost completely destroyed by fire, but that still retain a spark of life. This union often rekindles the fire that first damaged the tree, resulting in a sylvan that burns continuously without being destroyed. That's pretty cool. Sounds useful for the spirit and or demon. I'll be back for you in a moment. Guessing it's implied that it was that that ran you through this. What the ceremony was like. It begins with chanting and toasts. Then we bid our families farewell. Then wailing and tears. That does sound like a funeral. How depressing. It is though. We're not the legion of jaunty pub songs. I think how much easier recruitment would be if you were. Oh my god, he's an idiot. <laughs> he is a, such a fucking dwingus. Oh my god. <laughs> He's stu- oh no, he's stupid! <laughs> oh, a scroll. Oh, he's- he's more than stupid. <laughs> he's more than stupid. That could mean anything in a wide range of- of things. That was the intent. Orders to the militia. Kendall. The caravans can't get through the woods, and the village is running low on supplies. It's that Dalish clan causing trouble again. I know it. I had my man speak to their keeper several months back, and she... I think it was a she. I can't tell with these elves. Wow, okay. Said they... <laughs> I don't see gender! I'm, I'm gender blind. I'm gender blind! <laughs> Everyone is androgynous to me. Uh... <laughs> my wife, or so she says... <laughs> For so she says. I just have to take her word. Her. Her. If that really <laughs> is her gender. <laughs> <laughs> it's the world. It's it's what the conservatives think the world is like now. I told my son if that really he is, is what, what he is. is. <laughs> he. What he, he is. <laughs> Who knows how long that will last. <laughs> As a matter of fact, sometimes I struggle to even say they. Because that could be anything. That could be even more of anything. That could be more than one anything. And who even <laughs> knows then? <laughs> I'm blind. Don't you First understand? First he's, then she's, then they's. Then what are we tomorrow? A group of possums in a trench coat? <laughs> I love the idea of somebody who's so paranoid about... <laughs> <laughs> like gender 
that they just start thinking everything's <laughs> possums. Yeah, yeah, that nothing is real. That it's just it's gone that far into madness that they're like everyone says that gender is a, const is a social construct and that it's not really real. So then, how do I know anything is real? Are you even my wife? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like if if it, if am I a man? If the expansion of our understanding of gender and gender expression it causes you to have a spiral <laughs> like that, then I think I that think you need to talk to somebody. You already had some deep, deep issues. God, am I really a man, or am I also a possum in a trench coat? <laughs> what I even know? What if I really am and like, I just like forgot? It's, like it's not really that hard to understand. <laughs> I know that was just what was really. All of this because of a comment about elves. I mean, it's such a stupid statement. <laughs> it's it's, it's stupid so statement. easy. It's so easy to just <laughs> like. Like I just I don't get why. Your why sexual this... dimorphism is exactly the same as a human. How could you not know? Mayor Grisby is just being a like a flat <laughs> asshole. Is what <laughs> he's, he's being right now. My. When you're so racist, you can't see gender anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's basically what just happened. You can't see gender expression anymore. That's how racist he is. Oh, for for says it's like me having a dream in a male character's body, which sent me down a gender crisis. Sparkles. Sparkles. With sparkle. Yeah, crisis glitter. If I, if I had a soundboard, I would say crisis and then hit the button for the magical chimes noise. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, their keeper said that they would leave for more remote parts. It looks as though they're back. Likely they're stupid land ships blocking the roads. They're a stubborn race and more than a little dense. Okay. I must trouble you for a favor. Go to the Winding Wood and order them to leave. Well, we see how that went. What do we got? The bandit camp is over yonder. Let's have us a little look at their camp, shall we? It has a box. They're dense, says the man who can't tell <laughs> what a female elf looks like. <laughs> Hello? I mean, the fact that everyone refers to the keeper as a she, too, should really, like... Yeah. ...solidify. But he's still in denial. <laughs> <laughs> Ferb announces that now they have no gender. That's true. Legally, there is none. It's either you or me, and it isn't gonna be me. I'm gonna sneeze again. I'm gonna. What? Oh. Bless you. Oh. That moment where you know you have to sneeze, but it will not happen, and you just sit there and suffer. Excuse me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Last night when I made you laugh so hard you couldn't stop coughing, but then I asked if you wanted to see the video again and you were like, yes! Well, I mean, how many times over the past couple days have I done, like, a squeaky sneeze? Oh, a lot. And I'm glad yeah. to know I'm not the only one who does cute little squeak sneezes. <laughs> It's buffering. It's buffering? Oh no! I thought we did this! Curse you, Photoshop! I know it was partially you! But why is it happening now? Ten minutes before the end of the stream! I'll just wait a second for it to turn green. <clears throat> I sneezed and it killed the internet. Clearly. Come on now, hold on a minute. <clears throat> this is why I have to have Twitch open in a window that I can see in case this shit happens. I just have to wait patiently for just a little bit. Should come back. Oh! It popped back into being. It's popped back into being. It's shaking really funky. Oh, that was because of the... Okay. Okay. I think... I think we're okay. The quality might not be great. It looks sort of chunky on my end. The, yeah, see, first said the sneeze sent the stream into buffer. 
<laughs> I, I did this. It was me. I sneezed and it buffered. <laughs> <laughs> I am the bandwidth. <laughs> I thought I was a woman. It turns out I'm just the bandwidth in a trench coat. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes we forget. <laughs> some Sometimes, sometimes... Uh, mm. it's impossible for some people to tell because they're gender blind. Yeah, or just blind. Or just, to quote MST3K, I mean, it helps if you're stupid. <laughs> 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 okay. Is it better? On your end? Because I, I see I see it on mine, and it's a little bit yes, crunchy, but it's it okay. Is, okay, it good. Better. Okay, good. <clears throat> I, uh, I I don't like having scuff because I'm like, oh no, people will get upset and they'll leave. But I've uh, but I've never achieved the level of scuff it is, obtained by it is quite uh, a common occurrence. Like no no no, the, I I was sorry, I was referring to the Twitch stream. <clears throat> it is a little ways behind. It is a little um, ways behind. But, okay. Yeah. All right, so it's it's slightly delayed, but it's all right. I am the bandwidth fucking sent me. <laughs> <laughs> Unstable, says the connection. But it is here. Oh, it's buffering again. Son of a bitch! I just want to punch trees! Oh, is somebody downloading something? That must be what it is. Somebody must be downloading something. My brother must be doing a Final Fantasy raid or something. <clears throat> I'm very glad that my my gender is the bandwidth <laughs> sent you into hysterics. Herb. Oh my god. All right, let's see. But as I was saying, I I always am concerned about having to like pause for for shit to catch up. Yeah, it's taking another shit. Curse you, stream. <clears throat> I think all I can do really is, like, wait. Let me check. Let me check this. Let me check. The CPU did jump up real high. It seems to be sorting itself out. Is it Dragon Age that caused it? Seems to be okay. I know that Firefox is using up a lot of, of memory itself. And I wish it wasn't, but it is. <clears throat> hmm. I will try closing Firefox and see if that helps us. Because that's the only thing I can think of is that uh, there's some something to to lessen the usage of the thing. I don't think that's going to do anything, but maybe it will. I don't know. Point three percent of CPU. Come on, little buddy. We believe. Believe in your ability to not suck. Maybe. Thankfully, I will never hit the level of scuff that Amelie has reached. Because that is an astonishing level of scuff. Oh. <clears throat> can you still hear me, hon? I I can, yeah. Okay. I'm just making I'm just making sure you can. Uh the stream is like in buffer hell though. The VOD will be better? Okay, well, that's good, at least. All right. So are you saying, Ferb, that I should just keep... I should just continue as is and pray? Pray for a better tomorrow? When it comes out in two years. Yes. Well. <laughs> Since I won't be doing any big fancy things when November rolls around, I will render a shit ton of videos. It's just a question of how quickly can I get them uploaded. <laughs> from bandwidth so all right well uh, let's hope that this uh <clears throat> hold on a minute pause that so it doesn't cause any nonsense in the future
保洁。Well, I can do nothing, only go forward, so let's fight something. <laughs> of course, uh, Monarch has a uh, level of scuff that is basically legendary, if you think about it, because I don't know how she manages to have half the shit that happens on her streams happen. It's a little hilarious. Everyone has an awful lot of fine silk in here. Oh, wait a minute. I can't open that. But he can. Nathaniel here. I'll open this box. Thank you. Thanks, Nathaniel. Okay. <clears throat> so if we scoot our booties in this direction, we'll find what another burning tree! Oh no, you don't. Let's get started. Oh, the tree resisted me yelling at it. Click Nathaniel standing back there looking at us like, well. Thank you. Tree. But do tree. But why? Why can tree? Tree! As you wish. No? Let's get started. Let's get started, tree. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> I cannot tree. I could see it named for some reason, but not anything else going going gone oh he exploded oh that's pretty far Oh, that block was fucking sick! <laughs> I didn't know that there was block animation. That's so cool, Sigrun. She's becoming a favorite of mine. Oh, our connection still pooped me, though. Trap ahead. Oh. Trap ahead. Look out. Trap ahead. Here. I'll take care of you. Shooty bang. You shooty bang. And I will go over here and kill that man. As you wish. Come back here. Next on it. Did we get him? I think we did. Sigrun's coming back. As quick as her little feeties will carry us. Braved statue. Okay. Well. As you wish. <laughs> the Canticle of Ma Malfarath. Matharath. These verses were carved into statues in the Wending Wood. They appear to be from the Canticle of Malfarath, which, uh, which the Chantry includes among the distant whispers unacknowledged in the Chant of Light. And in my darkest hour, I turned from her and vowed that I would destroy her, it says. I needed this for a quest, didn't I? Okay, it's automatically copying. Not sure how far behind things are. I don't know either. Let's see. We're still in the red. Well, if it helps you post it, that's this is the moment where I saw you ask. Not sure how far behind things are.
engraved junk. Or engraved statue, rather. Give me your loot. Despair not, said she, for your betrayal was maker blessed and returned me to his side. Interesting. Seems like a case of like, oh, don't worry, you didn't actually kill me. Ah! I didn't see the tree, it lied! Oh, oh, bad. He's dead. <laughs> ah. Er. Blah. Okay, and this blocks the path, so we cannot go this way. Just As you fine. wish. More silk. Some elf fruit. Ooh, rash vine sounds fancy. Did I get vined? I did. I'm unbearably itchy. <laughs> Guess I'm not very good at picking rash vine. So. Nothing can do with that. Oh, here we go. Out of my way. I need to get out of here. What's wrong? Can I help? No, no one can help me. I just need to get out of here. Oh, things jumped forward. Oh, it's still not doing so hot on my end. Oh, boy. Who's after you? Uh, the elf. She makes the trees come alive. All we wanted was some easy money from the caravans. But we... Tree! Make her help me. She's here. Gotta get away. <laughs> like, we're both like, huh. Well, all right, then. Oh. Hi. Why are you here? What do you want? Do you work for the Shims? Hi, Azula! Oh, looks like the bitrate on the thing just jumped to normal. I don't know how f far ahead it has gone, though. Hopefully not too far. I don't know how well the VOD will, will do that, but, uh, I'm investigating the attack. You're just now, for reference, in the, mm -hmm. you're just now, uh, you're just now, like, you just said trap ahead. Oh, I'm behind, that's behind, like, a good chunk. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, well. You just said, come back here, and then you beat a guy down. Okay, so I'm like 30 seconds or so. Yeah. Alright, well hopefully it won't do a big jump. Hopefully it'll just be a few little interspersed jumps and not be too annoying. I'm investigating the attacks on the caravan. Or well, actually, I'm just going to tell the truth. I'm a Grey Warden. Oh, you're here to battle the Darkspawn then. Fair enough. Hello, Bron Should Blonde Should you encounter Morgan. any merchant caravans, tell them to release my sister or more of their men will die. Now go, deal with your Darkspawn, and stay out of my way. Consider this a warning. Boobs. Goodbye. She left and took her boobs with her. Okay. Yes. Ah, well. This should be easy enough. Somehow I feel like the caravans aren't the ones who took her sister, though. Oh no! Leave her alone. Oh, she kicked his ass Let's really good. More dying, blast you. No mercy. Woozy. We good? We good. Nice. Duster gloves. Wrap and garbage. My guess is it's about five minutes behind. That's for oof. Well, I 
what that probably means is that probably means that when we wrap up and say bye uh, later. Um, well, very soon. because Yeah, very soon. Good. In a, in just a few minutes. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll tell it to stop the stream, but I'm not going to force quit it from the stream. And that way it should just play on its own. Warden sense is tingling. My warden sense is tingling. The dark spawn are here, perhaps. Uh, yep. Nope. Right. <laughs> My warden sense smells bandits, too. God, I love watching Sigrun just go whoop, up the mountain beside me. Let's get started. God damn, she's strong. Deal with it. Desperation is an ugly curfew. <laughs> You're getting sloppy. This should be easy enough. I didn't actually need to use that skill. Whatever. I thought there were more. I fussed wrong. Discarded weaponry. Oh. Something not good happened here. There's dried blood all over this camp. And those discarded weapons. Why are they just lying there? There's something strange going on here. I'm not sure I like it. Yeah, I think the people in this camp died. Let's have us a little looky at this camp, and then after that, we'll do us a save. As you wish. It's a power for Reldon weaponry that's been dumped in the corner of the camp. Let's get started. A single elf flight arrow. Waiting. Box. A piece of splint mail. It looks to be all that's here. That's a concern. Oh. Oh no. Small stone cairns mark these graves which appear which appear to have been dug recently. I think they'll all say the same thing. That they do. Great. Scout's bow. Elven prayer for the dead. Hmm, and who is it that you just talked to? That elven woman. I'm assuming she probably wants that. Right. For Reldon's sword. Common for Elven sword driven deep in the ground of the campsite. It looks as like it was planted here on purpose. Well, the implication being that it may not have been the dark spawn no, that was here. No, it was not. It was the bandits, probably. Well, uh... why would the bandits be carrying elven prayer beads? Oh, that's true. Well, I mean, I assume that she would have, like, left, um... Perhaps. We shall see. Yeah. Let's have a look at the stuff that I picked up before. That's pretty good. Ooh, the venture. That's pretty good, actually. Doesn't have the big um, stamina boost, but it's it's uh, stats are pretty fucking sick. Don't have any fancy gloves though. Oh, but now I don't match. There we go. <laughs> I need to match. For the sake of the bonus, a scholar. Oh, some not great shit happened here. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna plot my ass in this little area. Have a quick look around. All right, I will do a hard save here. Let's see. Something bad happened. <laughs> Something bad happened. Perfect. 
perfect. You are oh. you are just now digging around in the corpse or not the corpses, but the, the, uh, camp. the graves. Oh jeez. Well, I'm not that far behind. It's like a minute, maybe. All right. Um. Well, shit. Unfortunately, I do have to wrap it up and go because there is pizza to be had, and I am hungry. I need the za, Mikey. You also need your za, or whatever it is you're having for dinner. E. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So hopefully it won't cut off. It shouldn't. Because I believe if I click stop streaming on this, it's just going to do whatever. So, as always, uh, my uh, social links can all be found underneath this video. Whether you're watching it live on Twitch or later on YouTube, including links to things like my Patreon. Where for as little as a dollar, you can get into the Patreon-only Discord. Where you will then be able to vote on things like, what game will I play next? What kind of cool art should I do? What kind of wallpaper should I have for this month? And so on and so forth. So. Link for life says fashion is greater than stats. This is true. See? Link knows. I am justified. <laughs> fashion better than stats. I was like, I was so glad back when I played WoW when they added transmog because let me fucking tell you that some of the armor, especially if it wasn't from the same set, was so fucking ugly. But yeah, so anyway, I hope that everybody uh, who is watching had a great time. Thank you for for pushing through the scuff with me. I'm glad I solved most of it, but it does seem that there is still something amiss that I must figure out, at least as far as connection goes. So I will see to that when I can and see if I can find a solution to it. Uh, but for now... Once more, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you had a great time, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye, everybody! I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers over on Patreon and give a special shout-out to Jack Fox, Old Monster, Dizarin, Revolution72, and A Furb Among Us. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. I'd also like to give a big thank you to everyone else watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know with a like and a comment. Be sure to have a look at the other videos on my channel, and subscribe so you never miss a new one. Links to my Patreon, Twitch, and all my other socials are in the description below the video. I hope I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!